So let's go ahead and create another piping system. So again, I'm going to select all of my fixtures, make sure they're blue. We're going to filter them and make sure we only select the plumbing fixtures. And now that they're selected, we're going to create another piping system. This time it's going to be called sanitary. And we're just going to have to make sure we select the correct sanitary system. Let's use this sanitary too. And then we just need to select the correct connector. So I happen to know that it's this first connector right here. We're going to click OK to all of these shower heads. And let's just go ahead and generate a layout. So before I do that, I'm just going to make the 3D view nice and big, just like this. And then we're going to hit generate layout. Before I did that, I probably should have clicked into this 3D view. And as you can see, it's not really looking correct. You can see that it looks like the piping is actually coming up from the drain and going across. And that's not really what we want. And we want this uh, main piping over here to be on this side right here. So we have to make some adjustments. So first I'm going to go to my settings and I'm going to change the offset to negative two. So I'm going to change my branch to negative two as well. Hit OK. And you can see now it drops the main below. And that looks great. But again, I need to move this main branch over to the left, right over here. So the way to do that is we click on Edit Layout. And now it gives us the opportunity to click on this pipe and actually move it right there. And then once it's moved here, we can move it across, just like that. And then we need to move this piece over here as well. So let's keep moving it until it snaps. And that looks great. And so now you can see that the piping is looking pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and finish the layout. And you can see Revit draws all of my piping from the drain all the way over and across. And so if we look at it in a floor plan view, things are looking a lot better. So sometimes what we're going to get is we're going to get the fittings in the wrong way. So we just need to make sure that we change that so we can flip those fittings just like this. And let's click on this one. We'll flip this one as well. And one thing I'm noticing is these are not the right type of fittings, so we can change that. So we're going to select both of them. And then we're going to select the correct fitting. So we're going to use the Y combination and that looks much better. And then we're going to go ahead and maybe we want the piping to continue off this way and then route it over and connect to the piping right here. So if I want to keep drawing this way, I can click on this elbow and hit the plus and then the fitting will be created. And then I'm going to right click, draw a pipe and I'm going to draw it off this way and then draw it off this way. And you can see that connection gets made. Now, again, I need to flip this fitting and maybe we'll change it to a combo Y and everything's looking great. So that looks good. Now I'm noticing one thing. I might want to put a vent in this location. So I'm going to move all of this piping over here just like that. So it's a little closer. And as you can see, I have my sanitary piping now connected to each shower drain. And now it's going to be routed over and connect to this main right here. Now you can see it's like breaking it right here. So we need to make sure we extend our little section box. So if we click on the little light bulb right here, you can see the selection box turns in this magenta color so we can select it and kind of just move it over. You can see now I can see that. So I like to use this little reveal hidden elements to toggle things that are hidden and things that aren't. We could do the same thing over here. If we want to see our PDF or we don't want to see our PDF, so like if I click and I do VV and we hide the raster images, just like that, okay, now it's gone. But if I wanna see it real quick, I can just reveal the hidden elements and it will show up. So using this command is very handy. So we're gonna turn this off, but I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. So now we have this nice sanitary. You're gonna notice that there's a uh, 90 degree angle. So anytime there's a 90 degree angle, we need to have a clean out within 40 feet. And so let's go ahead and measure this by using the measure command up here. And let's make sure the distance from here over to here is less than 40 feet. It is. So we need to make sure we put a clean out maybe somewhere over here. So what I can do is I can hit the plus right there. We have to change this to the combo again and right click, draw a pipe. And maybe we'll put our clean out over here. And maybe we'll go at a 45 degree angle maybe over here. And then we need to draw the piping up. So anytime you want to draw it up, you have to change the elevation to zero and hit apply. And you can see that Revit makes this nice 90 degree angle right here. So we're going to add a clean out. But before we do that, I want to make sure that all of this piping is upsized to maybe three inches. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. Three inch piping can be sloped at an eighth of an inch. So I kind of want to have that slope. But I also want this piping to be big enough to be able to, you know, 
carry any of the gunk that comes from these showers like hair and all kinds of stuff. So I want this main to be bigger. So I only want to select the main and I want to make it three inches. 